Hello folks, and welcome back to another episode of The Everyday Leader Within. I'm your host, Richard Fontany, and today we're diving into that beautiful world of uh, spirituality uh, and its a transformative power in everyday leadership. Now our topic translates into soulful leadership, unleashing the transformative power. And I hope by the end of this podcast, you will agree with me that there is a transformative spiritual power that lurks behind an everyday leader's actions. So grab a cup of your favorite uh, beverage, put on your earphones, and if you're driving while uh, listening to this podcast, please take care. Now let's embark on this uh, soulful journey together. First, take a look at uh, what can be called the everyday leader's spiritual path. Uh, now, if you've been following our podcasts for a while, uh, you'll have learned that leadership is not just about decision making and management skills. It's all about understanding and connecting with those that you lead. And spirituality, whether it's tied to a particular religion or whether it is not, is crucial in fostering this connection. Now, spirituality is a broad and deeply personal concept encompassing a, a person's connection to something greater than themselves, often involving a, a sense of purpose and meaning and transcendence. It's not confined to specific religious beliefs or practices, and it can take many different forms uh, for different individuals. In essence, spirituality relates to exploring the human spirit and its search for a deeper understanding of life and existence and everything around us. The elements of spirituality include it goes beyond the ordinary and becomes a sense of connection to something beyond the material world, which could be a, a higher power, the universe, nature, or collective consciousness. It often relates to meaning and purpose. The quest for meaning and purpose in life often involves questions about the nature of existence, the nature of self, and the, and the universe as a whole. It becomes a search for inner peace and fulfillment. And that search of contentment and fulfillment comes through self-awareness and self-improvement and, uh, and personal growth. And spirituality is based on values and ethics. So the development of moral and ethical framework that guides one's behavior and decision-making often influences our spiritual impact. Spiritual reaches, uh, spirituality reaches the transcendent. In other words, we transcend the ordinary to provide us a sense of connection with a higher entity or a higher being. Now, spirituality also can be expressed uh, through various practices like meditation and mindfulness and yoga, kindness, religious practices. It's diverse in culture and in backgrounds and uh, can be expressed in many different ways. It is deeply personal and the subjective really is uh, means more for the individual and our relationships with others. Now picture this, you're not a CEO in a corner office nor a superhero saving the world. You're just an everyday person like me trying to lead your team, family, or even just yourself through the chaos of life. Now, <laughs> does that sound familiar? Well, here's a story for you. Meet my friend, Jim. Now, Jim is a, not a, is made up for this particular purpose. 
Now, he doesn't have a lot of uh, decision-making power, but he is a supervisor within a, a manufacturing plant. Now, Jim hit a wall. His team morale sank, and there was a lot of bickering, and G Jim had to do something about that. But Jim, our unsuspecting hero, didn't really turn into a super superhero like Superman or read, read a lot of self-help books. But what Jim did is turn inward to his own spirituality. Now hold your horses. We're not talking about sitting cross-legged on a mountaintop. No, Jim started small. He began his day with a short practice of mindfulness, observing his thoughts like watching the latest Netflix series. And you know, it worked for him. Soon he found himself on a path of real self-reflection. He developed a sense of empathy and a moral compass that could uh, rival Randall's, uh, that protagonist in Toykin's novels of Lord of the Rings. Okay, maybe, maybe not Gandalf, but you get the idea. He began to lead with his heart rather than just with his, a, a list or a to-do list. And guess what happened? Well, the, steam, the team started uh, working together. Productivity began to get up and stress began to fall apart by the wayside. And Jim moved from supervisor to a leader. So what's the moral of Jim's story? Well, it's not really about grand gestures or fancy titles. It's about the spiritual side, finding that uh, transformative power that begins within the soul. And here's the fun part. You can do it too. Whether, whether you're into uh, meditation, uh, mindful walks, or just being a good person, there's a little bit of power waiting for you. It's like uh, a code waiting to burst out. Now let's take a look at what Jim did to develop his spiritual side. He looked inward, he expressed empathy and compassion. He found his moral compass and set his inner strength to forge ahead. But let's unpack that a bit. As a leader, knowing yourself is the first step to understanding how you interact with others. Now, this self-awareness helps you uh, make decisions that align with your values and uh, creates a positive impact. The spiritual practices often emphasize empathy and compassion towards others. Now, these qualities are essential for leaders to relate to the people that they lead and the ability to build strong relationships within their teams. Spirituality provides a moral compass and guides us to make ethical choices. And this is especially crucial when we have a really tough decisions that impact our community or impact our team. Spirituality can lead us to inner strength and stability needed to weather the, uh, the storms of leadership. And it helps us stay grounded in challenging times to maintain a sense of purpose. All right, folks, <laughs> that wraps up another episode of The Leader Within and this topic concerning soulful leadership, unleashing spiritual transformative power. I hope you're inspired to add a dash of uh, spirituality to your leadership journey. And remember, you don't need uh, a crown to be a leader. And sometimes all you need is a little spiritual power from within. Now, thanks for tuning in, folks. And until next Wednesday, stay connected, 
Stay connected within and with those around you. And keep leading with love. Bye for now.